So we will see the next concept, conversion of units. So for speed, you have two types of units. So one is in kilometer per hour and the other is in meter per second. So in the exams, while working out, say in one part they will give the speed in kilometer per hour and time will be given in seconds or speed will be given in meter per second and time will be given in hours. So you can't multiply this when the measures are in different units. So you have to check if the units are uniform. So only when the units are uniform you can proceed. So if not, you have to convert the units. So I will tell you how to convert the speed, the units from kilometer per hour to meter per second or from meter per second to kilometer per hour. Say suppose the speed is given in kilometer per hours. So that is x kilometer per hour. So we need to convert this to meter per second according to the question given. So to convert the speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second, the multiplication factor is 5 by 18. So when you multiply the given speed in kilometer per hour to with 5 by 18, the speed is converted to meters and seconds. <coughs> So when you need to compress the values, compress the unit, so you remember that you are multiplying it with the factor 5 by 18 which is less than 1. So whenever the numerator is smaller than the denominator, so then that fraction is less than 1. So here to compress the unit, we multiply this with a factor which is less than 1. So you can remember like that. So the factor, the multiplication factor, if you multiply with it with a factor which is less than 1, the units are compressed. And how did you get this 5 by 18? So to convert the kilometer to meters, as 1000 meters is 1 kilometer, we multiply this with 1000. And from hours to seconds, so when you divide this with 160, it is converted to minutes. Because 60 minutes 1 hour, and again, Another 60 because 60 seconds is 1 minute. So now simplifying this. So we are left out with 5 by 18. So instead of multiplying with 1000 and by 3600. So you just multiply with the factor 5 by 18 which is less than 1 to compress the units. That is from kilometer per hour to meter per second. So if suppose the units, the speed is given in meter per second. So to convert this to kilometer per hour, so you just reciprocate the factor. So send this factor to the other side into 18 by 5. So when you need to enlarge the units, that is from meter per second to kilometer per hour, to higher unit, you multiply with the factor 18 by 5 which is greater than 1. So easily you can remember to compress the units, multiply it with a factor which is less than 1 to enlarge the units that is from meter per second to kilometer per hour, multiply it with 18 by 5 which is a factor greater than 1. So we will see an example how to use this conversion and work out. So let us see this example. So the question is a train 540 meter long crosses a pole in 27 seconds. What is speed of the train in kilometer per hour? So when you check this question, so speed is asked in kilometer per hour and uh, length of the train is given as 540 meters. Time taken is 50, 27 seconds. So when a train is crossing a pole, distance covered will be equal to length of the train. So to calculate the speed, we will divide the distance by time, so which is 540 by 27, we will get the speed here in meter per second. So but we need in kilometer per hour and we will see how to convert these units. So speed is calculated by this uh, equal to distance by time. So when the train is crossing a pole, here the detail is the train is crossing a pole. So when it is crossing a pole, 
distance covered will be equal to length of the train. And now to calculate the speed. So length of the train is 540 meters. So here it is in meter and second. So because of that it is highlighted in the question. So it is in 540. The speed is in meters. That is 540 meters. And time taken is 27 seconds. So now when you calculate the speed. It is 2 times. Say 20 meter per second. So here speed we have got in meter per second. So we need in kilometer per hour. So from meter per second we are enlarging the units. So multiply this with a factor which is greater than 1. That is 18 by 5. So you will have confusion between 5 by 18 and 18 by 5. So whenever you need to enlarge the values, enlarge the units from meter to kilometer, seconds to hour, multiply this with a factor which is greater than 1. So now 4 into 18, it is 72 kilometer per hour. So using the conversion, though we have got the speed in meter per second, we have multiplied this with a factor 18 by 5 and converted the speed to kilometer per hour. So, speed of the train is 72 kilometers per hour. So, here the working is speed equal to distance by time. So, in case of train crossing a pole, distance equal to length of the train. So, speed is 540 by 27, that is 20 meter per second. And multiplying it with 18 by 5, that is a factor greater than 1. We have converted the speed to kilometer per hour. 72 kilometer per hour is the answer. So we will see the next example. So a car covers 350 kilometer in 7 hours. If its speed is 50% more, then what will be the time taken by the car to cover 7500 meters? So in the previous question, we saw how to find the speed. So in this question, time is asked. So it covers, three, the car covers 350 kilometer in 7 hours. So with this you can find the speed by dividing distance by time. And it is, uh, speed is 50% more. So 50% more means half more than the original. So I note here, you are asked to find the distance. The distance is given in meters. So we have got in kilometer per hour. So don't take that 7500 meters as such. So convert this to kilometers and then only you have to proceed. So we'll see the working of this question. So speed equal to distance by time taken. So first with the given detail we'll calculate speed of the train. The train is covering 350 kilometers in 7 hours. So distance is 350. And time taken is 7 hours. So by dividing we get speed of the train. So that is 50 km per hour. So if it is running 50% than the original speed. So 50% means half more, half more than the original. So half of 50 is 25. So speed becomes 75 km per hour. So now we are asked to find what is time taken by this train with the increased speed to cover a distance of 7500 meters. So here the distance is given in meters and we have speed in kilometer per hour. So don't take that meters as such and divide. So you have to convert the meters to kilometer. So 7500 meters. So this has to be converted to kilometers. So 1000 meters equal to 1 kilometer. So dividing this meters by 1000. So this is equal to 7.5 kilometers. So now we have got the distance also in kilometer. And now you can calculate the time taken. So time taken equal to distance by speed. 
So distance here given as 7.5 kilometers. So in a hurry, students will take the 7,500 as such and divide by the speed 75 and they'll give 100 as the answer. So you will have 100 also as one option. So but be careful, convert this meters to kilometer. That is 7.5 kilometer is the distance and speed is 75. So now time taken is, so after simplifying, 1 by 10th of an hour. Or multiplying it with 60, we get 6 minutes. So time taken by this train to cover 7.5 km with the increased speed is 6 minutes. So here the working is, speed equal to distance by time as we know. So find the speed, that is 350 by 7, 50 kilometers per hour. So if speed is increased by 50%, now speed becomes 75 kilometers per hour. And time taken to cover 7500 meters, that is 7.5 kilometers. So for time, divide distance by speed. Distance is 7.5 kilometers, speed is 75 kilometers per hour. So time taken is 1 by 10th of an hour or 6 minutes. So we will see the next example. A train moving with speed 110 km per hour crosses a pole in 9 seconds. Find the length of the train in meters. So here speed of the train is 110 km per hour. So speed is given in km per hour and time taken is in seconds, 9 seconds. So you are asked to find length of the train. So when a train is crossing a pole, length of the train will be equal to distance covered where distance is speed into time. So you can't just multiply the speed given in kilometer per hour and time in 9 seconds. So you have to convert the speed that is which is in kilometer per hour to meter per second. Only then you have to multiply it with the time. So we will see the working. So we are asked to find length of the train in meters. So length equal to the distance covered. So because it is crossing a pole where uh, length of the pole is negligible. So distance is calculated by multiplying speed and time. So here speed of the train is 110 kilometers per hour and time is 9 seconds. So you can multiply the speed with kilometer per hour and time in second. You have to convert the speed to meter per second. So what is the conversion factor from higher units to smaller units? So you have to multiply it with the factor 5 by 18, so which is less than 1. So multiplying this with 5 by 18. So here speed is converted from kilometers per hour to meter per second. And now time you have in seconds itself. So by simplifying this you get the length of the train. So this is twice. Now multiplying 55 into 5, you get 275 meters. So length of the train is 275 meters. So length is equal to distance covered. So distance is speed into time. So here you have to note that speed is given in kilometer per hour and we need length in meters and also time is given in second. So converting the speed to from kilometer per hour to meter per second, it is into 5 by 18 and multiply with this time given in second, you get length of the train as 275 meters. So hope you would have understood the conversion of units and now we will see the next concept.